Good morning everyone! Today we're going to study significant figures and the rules in determining the number of significant figures. But before we proceed to our discussion, let's have first the definition of the word significant figures. Basically, when we talk of significant figures, we are talking of numbers that are either certain or good estimated. So today, I am going to discuss the four important rules in determining the number of significant figures. So the first rule says that all non-zero numbers are always significant. How about the second rule? The second rule says that zeros in between non-zero numbers are always significant. And rule number three has something to do with the beginning zeros, and rule number four will explain the trailing zeros. Let us start with the first rule. As I have mentioned earlier, the first rule says that all non-zero numbers are always significant. For example, if we have this one which is 145. So in 145, there are three significant figures. Why? Because 1 is significant, 4 is significant, and 5 is also significant. So therefore, example number 1 has 3 significant figures. How about the second example? For the second example, we have 28.93. In 28.93, there are 4 significant figures. Because 2 is significant, 8 is significant, 9 is significant, and 3 is significant. Moving on to example number 3, so we have 59,215. In 59,215, there are 5 significant figures. 5 is significant, 9 is significant, 2 is significant, 1 is significant, and 5 is significant. So therefore, there are 5 significant figures in example number 3. Let's have the second rule. So, the second rule says that in between zeros are always significant. Example, we have 2004. In 2004, as you can see, the two zeros are placed in between two non-zero digits. The first one is 2 and then the other one and 4. So therefore, in 2004, there are four significant figures because this zero is significant and the other zero is also significant. How about example number five? For example number five, we have 150,803. How many significant figures are there in 150,803? Okay, so there are six significant figures. Why six? Because this zero is said to be significant and this zero is also significant. And if we, are, if we are going to count the digits, there are six. So therefore, there are six significant figures. How about for example number six? The given is a decimal number, which is 1.06. As you can see, 0 here is placed in between 1 and 6. Therefore, this 0 is significant, giving 3 significant figures. How about the third rule? The third rule says that leading zeros are never significant. What does it mean? So, leading zeros are also known as the beginning zeros. These are the zeros located at the beginning of a number or at the beginning of any quantity. So, for example, we have 0 0.043. In 0 0.043, the two zeros here are not significant. Therefore, for number 7, there are two significant figures only. How about for number 8? For number 8, the given is 0 0.00017. So, definitely, for problem number 8, there are 3 significant figures only. 
because the four leading zeros or the four beginning zeros are not significant. How about for number 9? So for number 9, the given is 0 0.18. So for 0 0.18, there are two significant figures only because the beginning or the leading zero here is not significant. How about the fourth rule? So the fourth rule says that trailing zeros are sometimes significant. So take note of the word, sometimes. So trailing zeros are sometimes significant. So when we talk of trailing zeros, these are the ending zeros. And ending zeros are sometimes significant, sometimes not significant. So significant if the trailing zeros are placed in a decimal number and not significant if the trailing zeros are placed in a whole number. Let's have example number 10. For example number 10, we have 100. In 100, there is only one significant fig figure because the, tr uh, the two trailing zeros or the two ending zeros are not significant. How about for number 11? So the given is 123.00. So the two zeros here are placed after the decimal point. Therefore, the two zeros here are said to be significant. So therefore, for number 11, there are five significant figures. How about for number 12? For number 12, the given is 156,000. In 156,000, there are five significant figures only. Because as you can see, the trailing zeros are placed after a whole number. Therefore, there are only three significant figures on number 12.